Welcome to the third installment of Minecraft, but you're only able to survive underwater. But quickly before this video starts, I just need to say that 70% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. But hear me out, if enough of you guys press that subscribe button right now, we could make it 69%. And that's the funny number. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Minecraft Fish Simulator. Let's get it. And this video shout out is coming from... Twitter. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to episode 3 of Murcraft. Zoom! Oh my god, we're so fast. Okay, today we've got a bit we gotta do. We gotta... Number one, we have to go back to the nether and we have to try and get the third helmet upgrade. Other than that though, there's a few things I wanna do first. And that's gonna be starting off with making my very own house. What do you want? Alright, so that's the plan. We're gonna make a house and we're gonna start by getting ourselves some wood. We gotta pay close attention to our oxygen levels here. Wow, we actually have a lot of time. In the last episode, we upgraded to the level two uh, helmet. We've got quite a lot of time on the surface now. I think we might have enough wood for now. Now we gotta pick up some other building supplies. Later. All right, let's make a start on this house. So the idea here is I'm going to be making a bit of a sand castle. Alright, so now I'm building up a second layer. Right, let's get a bit more of this uh, glass smelted up as well. Alright, and just like that, we have successfully moved into our new home, the sandcastle. And I like it a lot. I think it looks sick. Uh, but we've wasted enough time building this house. There's still a lot more we need to try and achieve today. So now that we had finished building our brand new underwater base, it was time for us to do a bit of experimenting. And experiment number one involved these oxygen respirator helmets. I think I'm going to make a journey to the, um, to the coral reef, which if I remember correctly is out this way. Oh, we're here. Okay. Um, step one, I need a tropical fish, I think, maybe for something. I'm also going to need a puffer fish. I'm looking for a puffer fish again. I think that's it. There we go. Hello. There we go. And since I'm out here, though, I may as well. Now, right, let's see if we can't find another puffer fish in here. Oh, I think, I think I may have found one. I guess I'm also on the hunt for some more diamonds as well as emeralds. Let's see if we can't find some more awesome loot while we're around here. Oh, another treasure map. A lot of you guys left a really helpful comment with the treasure map, which I honestly should have been smart enough to figure out, but the treasure maps are always orientated north. All right, so currently I'm facing south, and that's west, which is exactly the way I need to head, actually, is this way. All right, we're here. That looks like about the center there. There it is. Boom, exactly what we needed. More diamonds, another heart of the sea. I'll take a bit more iron, for sure. Oh, more emeralds. Oh, this ravine looks insane, though. I can't go past this. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God. Ouch, that was dumb. I just died. <laughs> I just died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, relax. Relax. Safe. You are safe. That was genuinely one of the most intense moments I've ever had playing Minecraft. Oh, hello, diamonds. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. We're out of here. Never again. This was a huge mistake. Is this one I've already done? I think this is one I've already done before. Oh, I think our home is this way. 
There it is. We made it home. Okay, that was a mess. That was truly a mess. But now there's stuff we can do. Through all of this down here, we get another helmet. Alright, so let's see. Can we combine Aqua Affinity with our Filtration Helmet? We can. Now let's do that. Alright, let's make yet another Filtration 1 helmet. Uh, boom. Now can I combine two Filtration 1 helmets to make Filtration 2? And by doing that, will I keep Aqua Affinity? Ah, it does not work. So I have wasted a fair few diamonds and emeralds here, but not to worry. It was all in the name of science. You cannot combine two filtration helmets to level up, so you can't cheat the system. Experiment two involved a cauldron, but we'll come back to this one later. So the third experiment was my poor attempts at trying to find a nether fortress through pure luck. So I'm going to pick up another 10 blocks of obsidian. All right, we've gotten ourselves another 10 blocks of obsidian. Now I just need to make it back to the surface. All right, we've gotten out of there. All right, got everything I'm going to need. Now, I need to travel far, far away from this original portal, just so it does not link up again to the same location. And I'm planning on making a brand new nether portal, which hopefully spawns us directly beside a fortress. All right, I think this is where I'm going to do it. We are many, many blocks away from home. And I've actually wanted to do this one on the surface. That being, I'm hoping if I do it like on a surface, I'll be a bit high up. Maybe I'll get a better spawn and not be in like the nether caves and stuff. All right, I think that's all I need to do before I go back in. I mean, to be honest, all we got to do is check if the spawn's good. And if it's not, well, then we'll get out of there. This is promising. Load, load, load. Okay, wait, no. Let's get back through. Let's get back through. We do not want to deal with this. Please don't blow up my portal. I think we're fine. Oh, oh, oh that was a close one. That was truly a close one. I'm going to mine this portal back up and try a different location. One eternity later. Whoa, is this... Oh, no. Oh, it's a bit annoying that we have mining fatigue. Alright, this is a bit annoying. I'm waiting for my mining fatigue to disappear. So I just started exploring a little bit and I found diamonds and now I need to wait a minute. Okay, it's only a minute, but I need to wait a minute before I can mine them. Oh, oh yes, this is so satisfying. I love diamonds. We've made yet another portal. Whoops. Then let's get back in the bloody nether. Alright, I'm going in. This is the same one. This is the same one. Oh, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in. Now I had wasted heaps of time just making two portals to have no luck. I realized this method was more than likely not going to work unless I got really lucky. It could take me hundreds of attempts to get a fortress close enough. Which brings me back to the second experiment with the cauldrons. A lot of people commented saying I should try trapping myself in a cauldron in the nether as that's the only way to get water in the nether. And when I first tried it, it did not work. Oh, you do not, that does not count as being underwater. But then the data pack creator reached out to me and said, hey moron, update your data pack. You can totally breathe in the nether using cauldrons. So now here we are onto the mission to get the third helmet upgrade. All right, welcome back. I have updated my data pack. Apparently you are definitely able to breathe using cauldrons and trapdoors in the nether. So I've updated now and in order for us to be able to travel through the nether with heaps of heaps of cauldrons, I'm gonna need a lot of iron. I'm gonna pick up as much iron as I possibly can and hopefully this goes well for us. <laughs> Officially have over a stack of iron now. Alright, we have two stacks of iron now. There's a fair bit of iron. Quite a lot of iron. I might try and swim out of here now if I can manage to find the way out. There we go. Alright, very nice. Time to swim home. Hello, here we are. We're home. All right, well, it's time for us to get a bunch of this iron smelting. All right, I am back with a ton of iron, just about three stacks of iron ingots. So we're going to need a heap of cauldrons, but we're also going to need a heap of buckets as well. I'm going to 
can have eight buckets total. Oh, I should also mention there's a special feature with these cauldrons where there's a chance while you're breathing within them that the water will be drained and then you would have to fill it up again. Uh, so that's why you need a lot of buckets, but I also have to be very careful while I'm doing this. Right, let's go one right here. Boom. I don't really know what my plan is here, but I guess I'll just dig a staircase out of here. No, that'll do, that'll do. Just want to be really careful. I do not want to die. So yeah, I, I guess my plan is to just use these to travel around. I don't know where to go. Like, I don't know where the closest fortress is going to be. So that may be another issue. But first, got to get out of this, like, cave area. Right, that'll do, that'll do. I may set up another cauldron up here, actually. Just so I don't have to keep going all the way down. Okay, we've got up somewhere. Nope, okay, not close at all. We did it. Surprisingly, um, we haven't, like, lost any water yet. I don't know the numbers for how often it happens. I haven't managed to do that here yet, so that's good. Where should I do it? Maybe, like, here. Run around here. We're just going to be very careful. We're going to keep an eye on our oxygen level. Boom. Let's just run out here. We, if we see a fortress, we see a fortress. Look, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't like our chances. Should I cheat? I'm wondering if I should cheat and find out the coordinates to a fortress. Probably do it legit. I don't really want to. I can't lie. But I'll, I think I'll do it legit. Oh, cauldron ran out. All right, we only have two water buckets left. I'm thinking maybe we should maybe return back home and we'll carry on. Oh my God, this cauldron is so unlucky. Back through we go. That's a jump scare. All right, let's just make a few more cauldrons. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get back in this nether and let's find a bloody fortress. Wow, already instantly run out of water, instantly. Okay, surely I'm getting unlucky. Go through that much water already. How am I ever meant to get anywhere in the nether? Already down to five buckets. Two buckets left already. That's a bit intense. Okay, one bucket left. No buckets left. The true fun of this data pack was beginning to show. You know what? A lot of you people probably won't agree with this, but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go find out where the fortress is in this seed. So I know the way I need to go... All right, so after my research, I've figured out I need to go to about negative 320 and negative 128 in the nether. But also I've decided I'm making more buckets because it appears we need more water than what I originally thought. So funnily enough, the direction we need to go is pretty much the complete opposite to the way we've already headed. We need to go out this way. This is quite the task. In fact, I've gone through seven buckets already and placed two cauldrons. We got the surface. Okay, we did it. Does not look good. Am I too high up? Scale this mountain very slowly. Yikes, I do not like that. Let me make another cauldron. Ah, we might honestly have enough oxygen to get all the way back to our portal, maybe. All right. Back at it we go. Oops. Oh, we'll chill in this cauldron for a little bit. But I'm not seeing it yet and it's making me nervous. Oh god. Oh god, no, not now. Not now, please. Please tell me I'm hidden from this ghast, please. Alright, we're running. Ignore me. Please. Leave me alone. Please, please. Stupid ghast, please, please, please. Alright, I think I've made another realization. Even with cheating, I'm too stupid to find a fortress. I'm heading in the wrong direction. I need to go more that way, not this way. It's 400 blocks that way we'll find a fortress. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, no, it's not what we want. Now's a probably a good time to let you guys know that I discovered something. I found a village. I found a goddamn village. First, we just gotta find, or we'll either find an actual Fletcher, or we gotta, like, convert one. Thank you. Alright. 
All right, 14 emeralds, not too bad. Let's firstly buy a bow, save us trying to get some string, and then let's buy a whole stack of arrows. Two stacks of arrows. Oh God, it's so close. There we go, it's dead. Let's do this cauldron thing quickly. I'm not confident about this at all. I wanna go back up. 10%, 10%, all right. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Don't panic, don't panic. Okay, oh, I think instead I'm just gonna dig a straight tunnel straight through here. Only about 200, 200 blocks away. We do need to go a bit more that way. Two cauldrons left, four buckets. We can stay out here a little longer. Okay, maybe not. Three buckets left. All right, I think it might be time to go back home again, get more water again. I know at this stage it may seem as if I haven't been in the nether for very long at all, but trust me when I say this, this process has been much longer and much more tedious than you could ever imagine. This is hours of effort cut down into just minutes of video. Like I'd bring 12 buckets of water into the nether and it barely lasts me like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Oh no, 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 it's not time for this. I'm gonna make a new one. Bro, you're actually joking. You're actually joking. Luckily we have a spare filtration 2 helmet. Oh, we don't have aqua affinity anymore either. Alright, three buckets. We still have the respiration 2 helmet. Or filtration, sorry. Still have the filtration 2 helmet. Oh, I don't have my... Oh, I don't have my oxygen monitor. We know roughly how long we have. Oh, I don't know when I'm going to be full. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bro, I'm doing this fully blind. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. This is dumb. One, two, three, fifteen. Surely that's enough. Surely. I'll right, make a quick pit stop in this one. All right, that's, that's it. That's all we're doing. Go to the next one. Please, I don't want to start taking damage. I don't want to start taking damage. 12, 13, 14. It's right there. All our items. We're fine. We're fully fine. Hop in here. Equip everything. That was scuffed. Back to digging. Oh, that stupid pigman. That pigman really stuffed us up there. Oh, not again. Not again. Oh, that was clutch. All right, we've broken through. How many buckets of water do we have left? We have five buckets of water. Where are we? Oh, this is where, hi. Oh, I saw the fortress. We found the fortress. We found a fortress. How are we gonna get to it? Across this way? I guess we gotta go across this way. All right, down. Yeah, this is, this is good. This is right. All right, let's just try and break into the fortress, but then we're gonna go back, get more water. I think I'm gonna make the decision to go back now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm going back now. Cool, cool. So we're pretty much there. We're pretty much in the fortress, but I do think we should invest in, invest our time into a couple more cauldrons. We need to go mine some more iron. Oh, because we're probably going to need a few cauldrons to even explore around the fortress and get to where we need to be as well. 2,000 years later. All right, screw it. Seven more cauldrons. Back to it, I guess. I really am not enjoying this challenge at the moment. This is, this is testing me. All right, we're back here. Perfect. I hate this cauldron so much. It is so unlucky. We're down to seven buckets of water. I can hear blaze. I can literally hear blaze though. We are that close to having blaze rods. Okay, let's not, let's not make me have to go back already, please. Please, any moment now. Yes, yes, we did it. We're in the fortress. Let's set up another trap door here, but we may need to keep coming back to this spot after we fight some blaze. Back here we go. 
All right, we're already down to four buckets. All right, we're already down to three buckets of this data pack is a joke, man. Did I get a blaze rod? Nope. Ooh, nether wart. Okay, we need eight ne nether wart. All right, at least we managed to get that. Okay, cool. Sweet. Now we just need a bunch of blaze rods. That's all we got. We gotta go home. We already gotta go home. Because we need enough blaze powder to craft both Eyes of Ender and also for this helmet upgrade, we're gonna need at least like 10 to 12 blaze rods. Oh, hello. We can go back for that guy. I didn't want to waste too much time, but we know there's a blaze right there. We can get our first blaze rod. Let's do this. <gasps> we did it. We got a blaze rod. Can we get a second? Maybe we should run away for a little bit and then hopefully bait out some blaze that will spawn. All right, then we can come back and there'll be some more blaze close by. Enderman. We need Enderman as well. Hang on. We need four pearls. Okay, we can work with this. Come on. Give me something. Yes. All right, we got our first pearl. Hey, we got another pearl. Okay, we didn't get a pearl from that one. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, well, so far, not so good. Wait, well, I'm sorry, bro. I need it. Be in here. All right, we have four water buckets left. Four water buckets left. He's for sure, he is 100% going to give us a blaze rod. 100%. We didn't get a blaze rod. 16 buckets of water, we get one blaze rod. All right, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm now going into the nether with 21 buckets of water. 21. And I swear, if we can't at least get three more rods, I'm going to be very, very angry. Oh no. Back in the fortress, we have this many water buckets. This time, I'm just going to go straight to a blaze spawner, however I can find one. Get out of here, stupid thing. All right, let's go out in the middle here. All right, we're here to make a bit of a scuffed building. This is why we need the building. So... I don't know how he set me on fire then. If this Oh, that's a blaze spawner up there. It's a blaze spawner. I'm not me, skeleton. I'm just minding my own business. Alright, I like this. I like it a lot. We're in the perfect position here to just get heaps and heaps of blaze rods. Heaps of water right next to a blaze spawner. It took us a long, long time, but we are finally here. Put another cauldron. That's one rod. Alright, we can get this guy as well. Two rods. All right, let's get back in this water. We're doing so well right now. They're like right on me too, I can hear them. All right, we need to get back to water. Ten. We got ten rods. Okay, ten rods. Take away the three we need for the helmet. That's seven rods. Bro, seven rods. That's fourteen powders. Nice. It's another rod. Oh, that ghast is after us now, though. That's not good. Oh, dude, this is it. I think we're done. I just threw my sword. Okay, we're definitely done. Idiot, idiot. 13, plenty. That's 20 powders. After hours of effort, I had finally collected enough blaze rods to never have to go back to the nether ever. And you have no idea how relieved I am. I cut so much of the tedious grinding out of this video since it's already over 20 minutes long. But now all that was left for us to do was to get the final ingredients and craft our level three helmet and we could finally end the video. All right, cool. So as you all know, I needed the eight blaze powder, the eight nether wart, but I also need four ender pearls. We have two so far, but we still need another two. All right, come on, where's his enderman? How have I not seen a single enderman? <gasps> enderman, hello, please come here, sir. Please give me a pearl. I've, d I've deserved it. No. <gasps> Enderman, come over here. Thank you. Come back, please. Please, you have to come back. You legally have to come back. No pearl again. 
All right, so I've made my way all the way over to this desert because I just like deserts a lot more for monster hunting. There's just such a more open biome. I mean, you can see so much further. And there's a mesa here, bro. I like this seed so much. All right, it's night time now. Please, let's find some Enderman. That's not what I wanted. I see an Enderman. I see one, I see one, I see one. Stinky Enderman. Yes, we got a pearl. Okay, one more pearl. Oh, wait, here, here. Oops, oops, oops. Where'd that enderman go? Did he drop a pearl? I don't think he dropped a pearl. I think he dropped a pearl. We have two pearls in our inventory. After so many hours, we finally have everything we need to make our Filtration 3 helmet. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Let's put it all in. Filtration 3. Now, the question is, before I end the episode, how long can we breathe above water now? Filtration 2 was 24, 25 seconds. Pretty long. I can't lie, it's pretty, it's pretty long. Thank you for watching this video right until the end. Up until this point, this is the longest video I've ever made, so if you've watched this far, you're an absolute legend. Now that we've upgraded to the level 3 helmet, there's only one thing left for us to do in the next episode of Murcraft, which is beat the ender dragon while I'm only able to breathe underwater. So if you want to see that, make sure to hit subscribe, and let's get Wadzi to 200k very soon. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me further, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, join my Discord, or even follow me on TikTok. All the links are below. Thank you.